Okay, we're going to work with the homework drop box today. First thing we want to do is go into our class pages. And I have um, six grade computers here, so I'm going to open that class up. And this should look familiar to you guys. Nothing uh, inside the class pages changed. The only things that changed is that now that students have their own accounts, they're going to be able to submit a homework assignment if you make it available to be um, placed in the Dropbox. So we're going to start from scratch here. We're going to add a new homework assignment. And I created a fake student account. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on both ends here. So we're going to go up to the plus sign. We're going to add an event. And uh, this is going to be a homework. Actually, we'll call this a test. So we're going to label this exam. Call this computer test number two. Um, inside the body of the message, you could do a number of things here. If you wanted to work with Google Docs and make your make a document here and put the link to it inside the body, you can do that. Um, if you want to attach a document, that's what we're going to do here. I'm just going to attach a Word file. Um, we can do that as well. So uh, if you want to put an image here, I'm sure some of you have done this before, you can search through a bunch of different images. I'm just going to add this image. I'm also going to browse my files and I save something called Computer Test 2. I'm going to upload that. And the most important part down here is we have the Dropbox symbol and we want to check this. This is going to allow the students to complete the assignment and upload it to your page. So we're going to check this off. Okay, and we're going to save this event. Alright, now we're going to switch over to Bob Student. This is the fake uh, test account that we made. So we're going to go to his classes and assuming that he had all of his classes lined up here um, at the beginning of the school year, any of the middle school students would have their complete uh, all of their courses here. So for now we just put computers in. So I'm going to click on computer 6th grade and you'll see that he has two assignments here. So we're going to go to computer test 2 and if he was to click on this he could open the test up. Okay, so here's the test. I'll call this computer test two. What is your name? He writes in his answers. And he saves this to his computer. So he's going to call this computer test to Bob student and he's going to save this to his computer. And go back to where the assignment was posted and you'll see at the bottom it says submit your homework. So he's going to click on this and he's going to browse from his files. Um, he can also save files to his account here, or he could put something on a on from his flash drive, or he could also um, in the comments bar put a link to one of his Google Docs. So for now we're just going to browse this, and we're going to go to Computer Test 2, Bob Student, and he's going to comment as well. He's going to say, Mr. W, this was a very easy test. And he submits this. Okay, it gives him the option to print, but he can print this out. It time stamps and dates this. It also gives him a confirmation number. Okay. If he uploaded this assignment and there was an error with it after he submitted it, he can upload again and 
the second upload would replace the first uploaded document, if that makes sense. So we're going to close this. I'm going to go back to my teacher's view here. Uh, this is my account, so I go to Computer Test 2. And I have a spot here that asks me to view submissions. So I'm going to see who submitted it. And you'll see that Bob Student submitted it 8.17 at 4.54 p.m. And this is great because it allows students to hand in their assignments prior to class if you want to open up some instructional time. Um, if you have someone that was absent from class or missed class, you don't have to chase them around anymore. You can have them just upload this right to your class page. So we're going to go to comments here. Um, he comments this. If I needed to respond back to him or attach a file, maybe he failed the test after I graded it and I wanted to attach some type of um, review page or a link to some information that would help him. I would say glad you thought the test was easy. You got an A. Okay. And if this student had added a picture to his profile, you would see their profile picture as I added one here. Okay, so that's how you use the homework Dropbox. Uh, I think it's a great tool and I wish you the best of luck with it.